Hey there, folks. Welcome back to Let's Play Red Dead Redemption. I'm the Mysterious JG. I, um... Let's see. Travel to destination. Benedict Point. Thieves Landing. I didn't actually... Probably should have... Yeah, get, get my map going. I could have us travel to wherever we're going to meet Irish. I would assume that we're going to meet... Oh, f damn. Oh, here we go. Okay, for a minute there, I thought we were... Um... We can fast travel. Might as well. I mean, our next mission will be all about traveling, so... Now, this is one of those games where touching water is automatic death. <laughs> Much like the original Assassin's Creed. So, I'm not sure how we're supposed to cross the river into Mexico, but I guess uh, our good friend Irish is going to help us out. Once we get down there, we'll buy some delicious Mexican medicine. We shall be together in paradise. <laughs> yes, you and me, John Oh, hey, fellow, Dickens Mr. is here too. <laughs> Mr. Marston, I've come to wish you well. How are you, sir? I'm okay. It seems that our friend Mr. Irish here is well Irish connected son. south of the border. Oh, it's true. Uh, they love me down there. It's like a second home. I've got more friends than you could shake a stick at, should you so desire. So you know the <laughs> <way>. <laughs> oh, it's easy. We just get on me raft here and let the current sweep us away to paradise. Come on then, Dobby. I'm not sure your idea of paradise and mine are quite the same, Irish. What the fuck? I'm helping you! I don't I do not understand his hostility to Irish here. Look at it this way. I know we ain't exactly old pals, but you know, have ever done you wrong? No, but not through lack of trying. Oh jeez, come on. Now. Have fun down there. I shall miss you, John Marston. Thank you. Where are you headed? Oh, me. Oh, uh, London or Paris or, uh, or maybe Peking. I'm a traveling man, sir. This land is much too small for the likes of me. <laughs> well, try not to get yourself killed. Oh, that's the nicest thing John Marson's ever said to anybody in this game. I'm a loved bunch in this land of myth and superstition. I'm off to the civilized world where men like myself are revered and given medals. Ha! Hmm. Have fun. The same to you, sir. The same to you. <laughs> nice of you to turn up for once, Irish. Well, he was in the last mean? mission. He didn't do anything, but fashion, you conveniently missed all the action. Uh, I was there at the very, very end. What can I say? I woke up with me head in a pair of kids, and it felt ill mannered not to get reacquainted with him. Hmm. At least you got your priorities straight. Well, suddenly I'm delighted by you being a traitor. Well, not traitor, but... Well, it works. Look out, bandits! Bandito! Who are these guys, and why are they trying to kill us? Technique of just it auto aims for me is not working right now. I still I don't understand why they're attacking us at all. Cause I can help you with that. I 
Irish actually fighting in this mission. Okay, I guess I'm dead, no? This is very, very strange. All right, so we got on back like around here. We've please don't tell me we're traveling all the way down to here and getting attacked the entire way. This ain't exactly the reception I was expecting. Oh, he did say he had lots of friends in Mexico, so I guess it's like goofy that these guys want to kill him. So that was a waste. You did the. Uh, you fuck all these guys' daughters? Damn, I should go up. Let's have a quick reload time. how I thought red eye worked I expect you'll go out of it pissing your pants well that's a form of combat piss foo that was a tumbleweed neat well anyway this is the fourth time your so-called friends have nearly got me killed I thought you said they loved you over here. Well, not every single one of them. At least the lassies do. Oh, their big brown eyes turn stone into butter, they would. And the Mexicans know how to make a bottle of liquor, too. What's that, okay? <laughs> now, there's a drink as would take the frost out of a frosty morning. Oh, you're going to have some fun. I'm just here for Bill Williams. I'm not here to get well, drunk and have sex. This place is a wild devil's paradise. Apart from the fellas trying to kill you. Yeah, the lassies too. Um, that to be a god. Yeah. I like it though. A little more inventive than Irish. Well, you Americans never were very creative with your use of language, was you, John Marston? What? How dare you? How dare you insult Americans? Their ability to give people nicknames. They're still coming. Find it, big bro. Oh, I completed the sharpshooter challenge somehow. How did I do that, I wonder? Shoot and kill five rabbits. I was curious what the sharpshooter challenge was. I think it was shooting a bird in flight or something. So maybe I accidentally shot a bird. Um, 
<laughs> I don't think that was supposed to happen. They're on top of the cliff. Ah! I can't. He calmly tells us they're on top of the cliff as he burns to death. Oh, okay. He could. He's not burning to death anymore. Springboard. It's my first shooting star press off into space. What's the word for push in Spanish? You tell me. You must have been called it a few times. Oh. Well. For the love of God. Hands up. Move up. It's a miracle you fools aren't dead already. Now I'm dead? After all that? Jeez. Seems like I'd survived a lot worse. We shall be together in paradise. That's right. John Marston and Irish together forever. <laughs> As Irish burns to death. <laughs> Screaming calmly. Oh, there's a couple more up on that cliff. Oh, whoa, I, I really screwed that up. I didn't even fire. Shooting birds for no reason. Or just die yourself. One or the other. Either one will be fine. Yeah, I'm not actually that good at this game. I'm not saying that I am awesome at this game, but I'm, uh... Don't call them pecker suckers. I mean, that's just gonna upset them. So much for your damn connections, Irish. So this Damn it, I was about to use red eye. Ugh. I'm you know, this is I'm only gonna have time to do two videos uh t today, and this is the second. So maybe it's possible that with a little bit more time I would have gotten some of my Red Dead Redemption skill back, but I'm sucking. <laughs> the terrible try. I was hoping to have like a super smooth run on our farewell to Irish mission. These guys popped out over here and keep getting me. So that would be a really good time to use red eye.
Am I threatening to kill Irish now? Why would I do that? How is that going to help? Load your freaking gun, man. I couldn't remember the button to load, so I just wasted a shot. Well, we can kill Hangout. Come on. That's probably true. We'll have another mission. We made it, thank the Lord. Am I glad to be getting out of that floating death trap? <laughs> okay, but I didn't die from touching water. These horses look fresher <laughs> and healthy. No. <laughs> okay, come on, man. That, that, that was, there was no need for that. Of course, of course. Let me think. You do know people down here, aside from your friends who welcomed us on the way. Yes, I think so. <laughs> I was real drunk last time I was here, John. You okay, know shocker. how it is. I, I, I met an American guy. Uh, Saw him shoot a man, drank with him in the village of Chuparosa. Funny guy. <laughs> he was, uh, was that Canada? No, that was Canada. Guy here, not funny, but he's real nice. Uh, failing that. Not funny, but real nice. Dane Cook? Oh, no, Dane Cook isn't very nice. Colonel something or other. Some Spanish name. He's based out of Escalera. Uh, played three card stud with him. Was it four card Monty? I forget. He was a real nice chap. Or maybe he was a real bastard. <laughs> I was real drunk last time, John. <laughs> well, thanks a lot for your help. Now, anyway, if you go talk that whore into giving me the money she owes me, I'll tell you how to find your father out here on the Capital Wasteland and. The famed hospitality isn't what it once was. And I've never been known to overstay me welcome. Mm hmm. Well, off I go to greener pastures. Good luck, John. You're an angry and a fuck ugly man. But not a bad one. <laughs> well, thank you, Irish. You're the truest friend I've ever had. I want my horse back. Yeah. That's right. Can't force me to take that horse. I'm going to get my super stein here to teleport to Mexico. Begging the question, why didn't I use my horse to teleport to Mexico earlier? There we go. So now... We can do missions for Landon Ricketts, whoever that is. And we can do uh, missions for DeSanta, who was um, not, uh, who is no relation to the guy from um, Grand Theft Auto V. We also have a stranger. I know, I know you. Oh, those are always quick. Let's uh, let's go talk to. to to this guy. The super creepy dude. Sir creeps a lot. Yeah, we'll go check in with him. See how he's doing. But in the meantime, yeah, now we've now unlocked Mexico. Most of the game is accessible to us now. This little corner here where the end game takes place is still not accessible. But um, we won't have any more missions to do in this main part of the game um, until we finish doing a bunch of missions in Mexico. Let's go. I've been really excited about getting to Mexico the first time I played this game. I'm not really sure. It doesn't make that big of a difference. You still go into towns with a bunch of NPCs that don't really talk to you that much. and. Oh, well, here's a, uh... Beautiful up here, isn't it? This is not the stranger, uh, mission that I was expecting. 
I don't know. I don't know that I've ever finished this one. Hello there, friend. Have you come to enjoy the scenery? I guess I have. What are you doing out here? Being a weirdo. You know, I'm trying to capitalize on the stiff upward breezes in this region to launch my first ever flight. You're gonna try to use that crazy thing to fly? I'll be soaring like an eagle, or my name's not Charles Kinnear. I should be the first man swooping through this valley. Yes, I shall. I'd leap off now, only it seems like I need more adhesive to keep the wings together. I've concocted my own special formula, since that store-bought stuff isn't strong enough. Mm -hmm. However, I can't abandon my machine to gather more... What do I gotta get, like possum hides or something? What kind of Wild fever few. Talking about, Charles Kinnear? I need a bunch of bird feathers, doesn't matter what kind, along with a parcel of beaver hides to boil down, along with some red sage to make it all pliable. Okay. I think I can find all that stuff. I'll be back, Charles. See, Did people who actually help him, I he screams they at with, like, it. murderous rage. Yes, but this did. random stranger, he's just going to help for no real reason. Find ingredients for Charles. Whoa, Jesus, dude. I, you didn't even give me a chance to... I'm trying to offer you materials. I'm hoping maybe I already have some of them. But apparently not. What a strange fellow. I have 20 I need 20 f Jesus, that's well, don't just stand there. You have a destiny. All right, so I'll have to get a whole bunch of feathers. Got it. Come on. I don't think I've ever bothered to finish that quest before, but I guess I'll do it now since it's, you know, a let's play. But, uh, yeah, guy's being kind of a dick, huh? Now, Irish helped us fight our way to Mexico. And even though we were yelling at him, I guess we had a right to be angry because he led us to believe that he was really liked. And, in fact, he wasn't all that liked. But, um, I don't know that it was really necessary for us to, like, Screaming them all that much because this is probably a room that I can rent as opposed to buy. But, uh, it would be nice to actually buy uh, some property. They don't call me Bentejo. Oh, no, I can't buy this. Mexican poncho menu updated. Part of me actually kind of wants to just call it a video and save the game in this town, but um, much to my annoyance, the place does not appear to have a shop. I really wanted to buy some medicine. I do intend to buy all the property, even though there's no particular reason to own that house, but, um... It is what it is. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, we can arm wrestle. Sounds like something I'm not that interested in. Just spending all that money. Yeah, about a house full of TNT. <laughs> Maybe I should call it a video. Like at this point, I don't know that we've got time to do any questing with the the I know you stranger. I mean, we can see uh, whatever this whatever he has to say to us, but if we have to actually do something, which we have typically before, like do some kind of quest type of deal where he's... That's interesting. Oh, 
Jeez, I know you guys kind of a... He's got an army of wolves guarding him. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Um, I don't know whether it will have auto saved. Yeah, it, it auto saved for us. Well, you know what? Hey, let's call that fate. So I was going to go meet that guy and, and get that mission going. And everything was wonderful. And then his army of wolves attacked us. <laughs> so maybe uh, a visit with him was not meant to be this time. But uh, I'm going to call it a video here, and when we come back, we will hopefully not be uh, attacked by wolves. I'm the Mysterious CG. I want to thank you guys very much for watching, and hope you'll join me next time for more Red Dead Redemption. Bye-bye.